Welcome to day 30 of my 30-day Pilates and Yoga Wellness Journey Flourish. My name is Annie. <laughs> this is Abel. And welcome to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. This last day will be extra special. It's the Pilates and Yoga Fusion Total Body Workout. So it's going to be a lot of core, upper body strength, lower body, strengthening your posture, improving your flexibility as well. Great for beginners, us to try to guide you and modify the movements if needed. And if this is a nice entrance to intermediate level as we started absolute beginners in day one. And if this is your first time, my recommendation is to go back to day one to slowly progress, to challenge safely and effectively before reaching to this level. So get your mat ready and join me and Mr. Abel. Okay, my friends, let's start in sitting position with your knees bent. Place your hands behind your thighs for support, keeping your spine straight. So I'm trying to engage my upper back, looking up gently and imagining there's a small thread going from your crown of your head towards your ceiling, keeping that posture awareness. As you inhale, squeeze your belly button in, then gently roll down Lean back as you exhale, chin tuck, looking down to your belly button area as you inhale, slowly roll up, going back to tall sitting, exhale, inhale, roll back down, exhale up. For those who want to challenge, you can keep your hands forward, elbow straight, inhale and exhale up. But for those who are still having a hard time and having back pain, hold on behind your thighs for support to slowly engage your abdominal muscles. Breathe in, breathe out. As you go up, try to open your chest to stretch further. Inhale, exhale up. Two more to go, my friends. Last one, inhale, and exhale up. Now we're gonna roll all the way down towards the mat, one vertebrae at a time, extending your knees straight. And let's warm up our upper body by lifting your hands overhead as you inhale, and then exhale down. Squeezing your core in, lift your hands, Exhale down. Last one. Inhale, hands overhead, and exhale down. Now bend both knees. Plant your feet down to the mat, keeping it really firm, your toes really grabbing it. As you inhale, slowly squeeze your glutes, lift your buttocks off the mat to a bridge position. And let's challenge it by lifting your hands overhead exhale and then as you slowly lower your hips down one vertebrae at a time we're slowly lifting your hands going back to the starting position resting your hands beside your hips so inhale lift squeezing your glutes hands overhead and as you exhale slowly go down one vertebrae at a time and then lowering your hands all the way down to the mat. We'll do this five more times. Lift, keep your core engaged, exhale down. Lift, hands overhead, squeezing your glutes, belly button in. As you exhale, slowly go down one vertebrae at a time as you slowly Lift your hands again overhead, round all the way down, touching the back beside your hips as you slowly go down. You don't want to use momentum as you lift. You want to use mind body awareness, engaging your abdominal muscles, your core, your glutes, and your shoulders. 
inhale lift squeeze as hard as you can keep those muscles engaged as you exhale down two more inhale lift exhale down last one my friends lift and exhale down well done now let's engage your abdominal muscles more by lifting both feet off the mat in with your knees bent to tabletop position so this is double tabletop you want to engage your abdominal muscles hands overhead as you inhale keeping that position and then slowly lift your shoulders keeping your neck chin tucked so you're not hurting your neck and slowly point your hands to the ceiling as you exhale you might feel your abdominal shaking now and then slowly roll down your shoulders and neck and the head down as you lower your hands overhead so inhale lift your shoulders hands pointing to the ceiling and then exhale roll yourself down and gently lower your hands overhead as well lift your shoulders chin tuck try not to utilize your neck keeping that abdominal muscles engaged and if you're having neck pain then stop just continue with lifting your hands only overhead without lifting your shoulders and neck so for absolute beginners you can just keep this position and just lift your hands pointing to the ceiling and then going back overhead again two more lift but for those who want to challenge lift your shoulders chin up exhale down last one my friends lift and exhale down now place your hands behind your head clasp your fingers together your thumbs are touching the base of your head to keep supporting your neck and let's challenge your lower abdominal muscles by gently tapping one foot at a time to the mat as you inhale exhale up and we'll be alternating left and right keeping your hips level try not to twist your spine as you tap and as you go back up to tabletop keeping your knees bent to 90 degrees and keep your breathing in and out right and left feel the quadriceps working hard and your hip flexors as well as your abdominal muscles keeping your back in neutral position two more last one and now we are going to progress by tapping both feet this time as you inhale and exhale up to tabletop and then gently lift your shoulders and your head for an abdominal crunch exhale try not to use your hand for momentum use your core as you slowly lower your head down and then tap again with your both feet inhale exhale lift and shoulders lift as well looking at your belly button chin tuck protect your neck and then exhale lower your head down and your feet lift your feet and then crunch five more four more tap lift and squeeze three more two more last one my friends tap lift and squeeze well done now gently extend one leg with your knee straight lowering all the way down to the mat keeping the other leg in tabletop and let's do straight leg raise one leg up to 45 degrees inhale and then exhale down for beginners you can rest your foot all the way down but for those who want to challenge today an intermediate level you can lift 
and then keep it hanging a few inch off the mat exhale lift and down four more three keeping your knee straight two last one my friends and one now slowly bend your left knee then extend the other leg so this time my right knee and for beginners as i said rest your foot if it's needed but those who want a challenge keep it elevated off the mat as you lower it down inhale exhale up five more four three two and one now slowly bend your knees lower your feet down to rest hands pointing to the ceiling and then slowly open your hands apart and your knees apart to a butterfly stretch so this is a lovely stretch in between the hard work you've been adding to the program back your hands pointing to the ceiling with your knees bent as you exhale open still squeezing your core in to engage your abdominal muscles inhale exhale two more last one and slowly let's lie on your left side you can try which side you're comfortable and let's challenge our hip muscles so with your knees bent let's start with clamshell resting your head on your shoulder slowly lift your knee up keeping your feet together and keeping your back straight neutral spine place your hand on your abdomen to feel your core engagement or you can place it on your hip or on the mat for absolute beginners so open and close take a deep breath in four more three two last one keep it open and then gently extend the knee pointing away with your toes plantar flex and then gently tap your foot to foot and then extend again your knee so bend and then extend inhale and then exhale breathe in and out five more feel any ticks and clicks off your knee if you have some popping sensation as long as there's no pain that's fine last one and now we're gonna straighten your top knee keeping the other knee still bent position to support your spine and gently lift the knee up to 45 degree angle with your toes pointing away as you inhale and exhale down lift and down and for those who want to challenge their core today you can extend the top arm overhead and then for more challenge you can also tap your knee with your hand as you lift and then down to add a little bit more core engagement and hip and shoulder movement patterns five more tap your leg with your hand and if you can't reach it yet that's fine two more last one and last one well done now bend the top knee in front of your hip area toes pointing forward extending the lower knee and this time we're going to target your hip eight doctors toes pointing away plantar flex keep your hand on the mat top hand and lift and down keeping that muscle those muscles inner thighs strong and connected five more lift breathe in breathe out two more last one and hold it there and we'll do gentle pulse small range 10 9 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Gently extend the top knee, and we're gonna slowly press up to sit up. Bring your hand a little bit further away from your shoulder for a challenge. And from this position, we are going to slowly extend the top hand, elbow straight, and gently rotation. Tapping your front hand as you inhale, and then exhale out. You don't want to use momentum, you want to do this slow and steady rotation in and then out. Keeping your back straight. mind body awareness with the movement pressing down on the mat with your left hand and then the top hand slowly turning with your hand level to your elbow and shoulder in one straight line two more last one my friends well done now slowly Overextend this time overhead with my right hand as you inhale and exhale. Tap your foot and then overhead reach to stretch, pressing down to the mat. Two more. Feel that lovely stretch in your hips. Last one. Now slowly grab your ankles with the top hand to slowly. Keep your sitting position with your knees bent and slowly extend and reach with the opposite hand, your left hand. Overhead, breathe out. Feel that lovely stretch on your ribs all the way to shoulder and neck. And then gently go down, inhale, and then overhead, reach and stretch. Two more. Keep that posture with your hand holding onto your ankles for support and balance. Last one, my friends. Feel that lovely stretch and hold that position for five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Now let's switch it up to the other side. Extending your arm and hips down bend both knees place your hand on your hip or on the mat and do a gentle clamshell warming up the top hip as you breathe in and breathe out keeping your core engaged back straight neutral spine three more two and one now gently keep your knee open and slowly extend the top knee with your foot pointing away as you inhale and then gently tap foot to foot as you exhale up breathe in tap exhale extend breathe in and breathe out four more three and one now gently lower your knee down and foot with your knee straight slowly lift to 45 degree angle and then down as you breathe in up exhale down and as I said earlier you can challenge with your hand overhead as you lift your foot you can lift your hand to tap your top leg and then exhale down five more four three two last one my friends and one now slowly place your foot in front of you on your hip joint area toes pointing away extending the lower leg and then toes pointing away as well as you lift it up and down targeting your inner thighs Keep the, those muscles strong and engage. Five more. Breathe in and out. Three more. Feel the burn. Last one. 
and hold that position and small pulse small range without touching the mat and 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 well done that was a beautiful burn and slowly press your arms up with your hand a little bit further from your shoulder right Abel you just made a sound and slowly lift the top hand and gentle rotation tapping your hand with the other hand as you inhale and exhale out breathe in slow rotation without using momentum you want to keep your muscles engaged as you breathe in breathe out feel so good on your spine all the way to your hips Two more. Exhale out. Inhale in. Two more. Last one. Now gently grab your ankles with your top hand and slowly extend and reach. And then down, reach and open. Two more. Last one. And now slowly place your hand down and overhead reach on the other side. And then down. Feels so good as you overheat, reach. And tap your foot down with your hand. Last one, and down. Uh, now slowly kneel position. Place your hands on your hip. You want to target your hip flexors, your thighs, as you slowly keeping your back straight, shoulders back, and gently sit down on your heels. As you go up, exhale, sit kneeling tall, shoulder back, and then lowering yourself slow and steady. If you're having knee pain, stop. And for those who can manage, you can try feeling the gentle pressure on your knees and then gently squeezing your upper back as you lift. Challenge those leg muscles and it's good for your glute strength as well, hip flexors and quads in kneeling position. Four more. Two more. Last one, my friends. Now gently place your hand, one hand on the mat, extending the other leg. And we're going to challenge in this position on your hip abductors. Keeping your hand, one hand on the top of your hip for stabilization and keeping, making sure your back is straight and slowly lift the foot up with your knee straight and then down breathe in and out feeling that lovely core engagement challenge today's our last day you want to make sure you do your best and feel so good to try new things two more last one and as you hold it up there Keeping your foot up, knees straight, gently lift your top hand and then overhead reach and then tap it down to your knee to stretch your shoulder. Keep that isometrics on your shoulder and your hip and core. Overhead and then tap on your knee. Overhead, keeping that foot up, feel the burn. Last one. And down. Well done. Now place your hand top behind your head and gently lift again and then trunk twist, elbow pointing down to the mat as you breathe out and then tap down again to rest. Lift, twist, elbow up and foot down. Lift your foot, twist your elbow and then down. Two more. Last one. 
and down well done now let's switch to the other side hand level to your shoulder knee bent place your hand on your hip for support keeping your back straight gently lift the top knee and foot up with your knee straight and tap down breathe in and out five more you might find one side a little bit weaker on your core strength and balance and that's fine two more last one hold that position as you slowly overhead and reach with your hand inhale and exhale reach with your hand exhale tap your leg two more last one and then down and rest now place your hand behind your head and lift your foot up and then gently twist down elbow pointing down looking down your eye gaze and then lifting your elbow up and then lowering down as you exhale lift and twist up and down lift twist down up down lift down up and down lift your foot twist up and down last one my friends lift twist up and down this is really a total body pilates now with your hands on the mat hands level to your shoulders knees level to your hips let's do a gentle cat and camel to stretch your back Belt curl in as you look down inhale as you exhale slowly look up lowering your arch of your back exhale round your shoulder pelvic curl in inhale exhale out round inhale in exhale up two more last one inhale in in exhale out now let's extend one leg back, knee straight, and then opposite arm reach, bird dog position. And this time let's challenge by bending your knee and then turning and reaching your foot. So I'm looking behind my foot on my left and then extending to bird dog and then lowering it down. Again, lift your knee, extend your arm. I'm reaching back as I bend my knee reaching to my foot tapping it and then extend and then down if this is too difficult just continue with the regular bird dog but for those who want to challenge gently reach touch your toes extend and down if this is too difficult you can just do a regular bird dog last one exhale down well done now lift your left leg up reach with your right hand Bend your knee, twist and reach for your toes, slow and steady, reach back to bird dog as you exhale down, lift, bend and reach, turn, back, center and down. This really challenges your core and coordination and as you lift, you engage your core muscles, as you tap, improve your flexibility. If this is too difficult, as I said, do just a regular bird dog. Okay, well done, my friends. That was nice. Grab the mat with your toes. We'll do downward dog to challenge your hamstrings and calf flexibility as you lift your knees up. Pedal left and right, gently lengthen your hamstrings and your calves. Last one, and slowly lower your knees down and slightly place it behind your hips. And gently, we are challenging your upper body for push ups, triceps push up as you lower your chest down to the mat, pulling your elbows back towards your hips as you go down and then up. We're gonna try to keep your core engaged up and down, and this is a burst of pushing up. But slowly lowering your chest down push up and then down and if you want to challenge more you can keep your knees up off the mat but if this is too difficult you can keep your knees closer to your hips for absolute beginners that's two more push-ups 
down well done my friends slowly lower your hips all the way down extending your arms as you relax and take a breather as you inhale and exhale two more deep breaths in this position inhale and exhale last one deep breath as you slowly exhale lift your hips up and we're going back to your hands and knees position and let's challenge our hips by lifting your knee off the mat on your side for a fire hydrant pose so this is like being like a dog on a fire hydrant just like abel who pees on a fire hydrant so lift your knee up to the side keeping your core engaged as you lift your knee up and down try your best not to twist your spine and keeping your center of gravity in the middle of the mat lift and down four more to go lift and down squeeze your glutes as you lift last one my friends exhale down now shift to the other side lifting your left knee to the side as you do fire hydrant targeting your left glutes lift and down we're doing this a little bit faster as we want to last one and down now we're gonna lift again the right knee to a fire hydrant with variation and we'll do circles so we're gonna make small circles with your knee bent from in to out small circles two more and then we'll do reverse as you go from out to in try to scoop it in lifting your knee and engaging your glutes muscles and improving the mobilization of your hip last one exhale down now let's go to the left knee lift to the side and make circles small range of motion and you can make it bigger if you'd like as long as you're keeping your back straight now let's do reverse circle as you go from out to in inhale and exhale breathe in and breathe out last one as you inhale and exhale down feels so good as you sit down on your hips again with your knees on your side for a frog pose to stretch your glutes muscles and let's rest here for three deep breaths last deep breath in as you exhale slowly get up on your hands and knees and let's cool down now lower your hips down let's target your posterior chain muscles as we learn the importance of improving our posture so this time we're going to extend your arms forward we'll do a lovely w position by pulling your elbows back now gently lift your elbows back squeeze your upper back as you exhale down lift exhale down squeezing your upper back your scapular muscles as you lift elbows back extend as you lower lift exhale down feel your upper back engage and now let's progress by bending your knees as you lift squeezing your upper back and this time your glutes muscles bend your knees as you bend your elbows lift exhale and last one and down now slowly get up on your hands and knees position we are cooling down now by switching our body weight left and right trunk twist to relieve any tension off your shoulders and your hips as you twist on one side and down the next one will do a gentle thread the needle as you lift your hand up overhead and looking up follow your hand with your eye case as you exhale slowly thread it in underneath your left side and if this is too difficult for beginners you can do halfway through just open and then just halfway through for those who have difficulty with thread the needle but for those who want to try lower all the way down and extending your arm the opposite arm to rest and let's hold this in three deep breaths
Now slowly place your hand in front of you to push yourself up. Back to your hands and knees position. And now switch to the other side. Lift your left arm. Thread it in. As I said, you can do halfway for beginners. And for those who want to challenge, lift. And then thread it in all the way through. Lower your head and ear to the mat. And then extend the opposite arm to rest. Inhale and exhale. We are cooling down with yoga poses as this 30-day journey. Now go back to your hands and knees position and we are going to do a gentle pigeon stretch to stretch our glutes muscles. So I'm starting with my right knee bent across my body, my right foot on my left hip groin and then pushing it up to stretch my back as I exhale slowly lower my chest down to forward fold. And then slowly push up again to stretch my glutes and hip flexors. And then slowly go down. Last one, push up as you inhale. And gently lift your knee off the mat to switch it up to the other side with my left knee bent. Left foot on the inner side of my to stretch your right hip groin area. Then slowly lower your chest down as you exhale. Push up to inhale, exhale down, last one, to stretch your hip flexors and glutes alternating. Last one my friends, now gently lower yourself down and then sit up to slowly lie on your back and we're gonna cool down as well lying on your back and let's start stretching your hamstrings with your knee straight, lock it and the other knee bent to support your back but if you want to challenge you can also lower the opposite knee for a deeper stretch for those beginners keep your knee bent and for those who want to challenge you can lower your knee down but as i said earlier you can keep your knee bent on the opposite knee to support your back and slowly toes towards you stretch your calf and ankle palms up and down to stretch your calf and hamstrings and you can also do circles clockwise and counterclockwise on your ankles then slowly lower your foot down to this side to stretch your hip groin area keeping your back straight and then slowly lift your knee up and then cross it your body for your IT band and peroneal muscle stretch and you can Point your toes away so you can further stretch your left ankle. Now let's switch it up to the other side. Keep the knee bent and slowly lengthen your knee down on the opposite knee if you want to challenge. And let's do ankle pumps on your right ankle and circles as well. Clockwise and counterclockwise. Then slowly let's lower your foot down to this side to open your hip groin area gently don't twist your spine lower as much as you can making sure your pelvis is leveled and then switch it up to across your body with your toes pointing away from you for a deeper stretch on your IT band and peroneals well done now let's keep your knee bent elbows bent to a W position now gently twist both knees and one side Feel that love is stretching your back and your hips and then to the opposite side, left and right with your deep breathing as we slowly cool down, ending our 30-day wellness journey. And it was such a privilege to share this with all of you. And that's it. Let's sit up. And I'm hoping you enjoyed our 30 day journey flourish. I'm glad you joined me, and I'm thankful to each one of you who joined my program and learned the basic absolute beginners, Pilates, and yoga. And I can't wait to share more of my fitness wellness physical therapy so for those who haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe ring the bell so you won't miss any of my videos leave a message direct message me please like each of my videos it will help me tremendously because i still work full time as a physical therapist and i just do this as part time of my time and each of my video will be greatly appreciated if you like them all and watch them all so it could help my algorithm so i could share more about fitness 
wellness to the rest of the world. If you have any questions, suggestions, and concerns for my next workout challenges, leave a comment down below and direct message me on my social media and I'll try my best to answer each one of you. Always remember, be safe, be well, and healthy for you. Until my next wellness journey, Abel and I were saying goodbye for now. Bye!